Hello there, and welcome to what will be the first in a series of videos. This series will share the highs and the lows in the story of Kenobi the Beagle Puppy. He is a Beagle mix. We're not sure yet what that mix is, but we are waiting on DNA test results from our vets that will tell us all about him and his parents. At the time recording, Kenobi is 10 weeks old and 12 pounds in weight. He's inquisitive and loves to be around people. We named him Kenobi because it looks like he's wearing Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi colors from the Star Wars movies. We said it as a joke on the way back from picking him up. The other options were Remus, Thor and Loki, but Kenobi was the one that stuck with him. We found Kenobi being looked after by the lovely people at Trevor's Animal Rescue in Parker, Colorado. He was one of a litter of puppies who were all given state names. Kenobi was originally called Oregon. His mother had been rescued and was in the care of Trevor's Animal Rescue. The link to Trevor's Animal Rescue is in the description of this video. We already had a cat called Daisy and we were worried how she would take to a new puppy. But after a careful introduction, they got along quite well. She's still not sure about having such an energetic playmate at times, but she is warming up to him. Her armchair is out of reach of the puppy at the moment, so she usually sits and watches his antics from on high. Typical cat, really. Kenobi, like all puppies, spends a lot of time sleeping, but when he's awake, he's usually getting into everything, and it's like having a permanent shadow around the house. He loves playing outdoors, especially on grass, and usually rolls around in it or lays down in longer grass. He was afraid of being in the car at first, but he's gotten used to it now after some treats and a lot of encouragement. After a long play, he's comfortable enough with the car now to close his eyes and try to sleep. Here he is trying to relax after running around and playing for the past 10 minutes. Kenobi does chew a lot. So far, we have been able to stop him chewing furniture, but he is drawn to slippers and shoes, which can make things interesting. We've given him all kinds of chew toys and distractions which seem to be working so far. He's not house trained yet, but he still doesn't have full control of his bladder, so he does have the occasional accident in the house. When he does make it outside for a wee, he gets a lot of praise and treats. He is walking on a leash and he has learnt the words sit, bed, crate, out and food. He sometimes gets a bit confused, but he is still young and we use the same words every day so he will get better as he gets older. So that's it for this week's update. He has a vet's appointment next week and we will hopefully have the results of his DNA test to share with you. Thank you very, very much for watching and we'll see you again next time. If you do think he's a cute puppy, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thanks again and goodbye.